All right, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I know I'm in a little bit of a different place than usual. You guys usually see me at the Grand Exchange doing these intros, but this is kind of what inspired the video, so I felt like it was right to go here. I also am working on my task while I do the video, you know, gotta, gotta be on that grind. But what we are here with today is a comparison, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, between the Magic Shortbow Imbued and the Toxic Blowpipe. So you may be like, well, what really made you want to do this? You would think that those two were very far apart. Uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of tasks such as Black Demons and Bloodfelds. You guys can check those out my new with a mill series plug. Um, but what I noticed was that a lot of people were using magic short bows imbued. More so at Black or at Bloodfelds and Black Demons, since I mean I don't see a lot of people at Black Demons. It's relatively quiet. I'm uh, I'm a loner here. But I was like, what's all this hype behind the magic short bow? I was like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I was I mean from an outsider's perspective, I'm like it probably sucks to be honest with you, and I'd use a blowpipe any day. But I figured if that many people are using it, there's got to be something to it. So um, before we get into it, I'd like to throw a shout out to my dude Fodan too. Uh, he was one of the guys that I saw using the magic short bow imbued and I just kind of got talking to him He was a fan of the videos, which is pretty cool And I just kind of got talking to him about this idea for a video So shout out to him But what we're going to be doing today is comparing the magic short bow imbued and the toxic blowpipe as I said earlier a couple things to keep in mind is with the magic short bow I use rune arrows since they're just the best arrows and it makes it actually really good and They're only 90 GP per one so I definitely recommend it and realistically upgrading from something like adamant to rune would cost in the 10 Tens of thousands per hour, like between 20 to 30 thousand, I'd imagine, which is barely anything and a sub substantial upgrade. Um, as far as the toxic blowpipe goes, I will be using mithril darts. You may be like, why mithril if you want a true comparison? I feel like it is the most accessible to most people, and adamant darts are 150 GP per hour more, which kind of balances this the other way, but I mean, you can factor it in at the end, and I'll go ahead and do that myself more towards the end of the video. So, that's all I kind of wanted to say before we got into it. Just remember, rune arrows on the magic and beauty short bow, and mithril darts with the toxic blowpipe. Also on top of this, I tested two different accounts. I tested this account, which at the time was at 75 range, and I tested my main account, which was at 95 range. Now, one little thing different is I figured a lot of people would do this on task, so I kind of wanted stats for one on task and stats for one off task. So the 95 range one is off task uh you could probably boost it by 20 percent if you were on task i know it gives a plus 15 damage i believe but it also gives an accuracy bonus both of these are pretty accurate so i wouldn't assume it would help all that much so that's why i added the extra 5k um and as for the 75 range i did this on task so there's that all right so you guys will probably end up seeing just a little bit of uh <laughs> video of me killing aberrant specters in the background really sped up and doesn't have a whole lot to do with the video i thought i was recording my main account at the time however i was not i was recording my other screen which is my noob account so you guys have that to look forward to and I'm guessing you're watching it right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into it. So I know you guys are seeing Aberrant Spectre kills in the background right now, but that is because I was recording the wrong screen for the entire 40 minutes that I was recording for background footage. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go back and kill another 40 blood or 40 minutes of blood fell just for background footage. So what we're gonna do now is get on into the actual statistics of what I was able to find. So we're gonna pull up the 75 range one right now. Forgive me for the the end that's on the screen because. Uh, I accidentally closed out of the uh, old version, don't have a previous save. So, let's get on into it. Uh, as you guys can see, with 75 range, with the Magic Imbued Shortbow, we were able to get 66,000 XP per hour, and with the Toxic Blowpipe on task, remember, we were able to get 90k XP per hour, both were on task, so I don't know why I said it after the Blowpipe one, but keep that in mind. So, what we had to do here was calculate how much money we're actually spending with both things, since it's pretty crucial to the entire thing. Like, that's why a lot of people are turned off by a Blowpipe, is because it cost so much depending on how much you know you can make per hour um if you're rich as shit you probably don't care all that much but for the average player you may actually take it into account so with the magic short bows you guys can see you expect to run through about 510 arrows an hour which would come down to about 48k which isn't too bad remember i'm using rune arrows and with the toxic blowpipe you'll end up using a 1338 scales and about 816 darts and those are mithril darts in this scenario however if you wanted to do adamant you'd probably have to add up to about 450k an hour which would in the end cost you a little more but the xp rate would go up obviously so Alright, so now time into the XP. So I know this XP thing isn't perfect since you would have actually gained some levels along the way, but it relatively stays the same GP per XP, so just keep that in mind. 
Uh, we went with a baseline of about a million XP, and to get 990k XP takes 15 hours with the magic short bow imbued, and in the end you only end up spending 720k, which isn't terrible, and I mean, depending on where you're at, you would more than likely make profit. Now on to the toxic blowpipe, as you guys can see, to get 990k XP with it. Blowpipe, it would only take 11 hours, which would save you 4 hours, however you're spending 3.3 mil, which is a significant amount if you're if you're a lower level or you don't know how to make money that well. So from there, I have a little stat in the bottom left that says, in total, you'd end up saving 2.6 mil practically if you use the magic short bow, or spending 2.6 mil if you end up going to the blowpipe, depending on which way you want to go with this. And in the four hours that it would save you to use a blowpipe, it would end up costing you 645k per hour. So, if you have a money-making method in which you can make more than 645k, it would be beneficial for you to go ahead and use the Magic Short Bow at this level. So, from here, I'm going to go on into the next stat, which may be a little shocking. I, th I know it was to me. All right, so now on into the 95 range account. For some reason, my intuition kind of told me that this would cost a little more. I figured maybe the higher range level that you had would make up for some of the lack of accuracy with the magic short bow, but apparently not at all. Um, as you guys can see in the bottom left right now, you actually only end up paying 582k per hour to actually upgrade to the blowpipe, which I found was a little shocking since you actually pay more at a lower level. So it's actually more worth it for people that with higher levels to go ahead and use blowpipes than it is for people at lower levels. As you guys can see here though, the stats that we ended up going and finding for this was at 95 range, you can get 70,000 XP per hour with the Magic Short Bow imbued off task, which I found was actually pretty decent to be honest with you, and 98k with the toxic blowpipe. So not too bad. We have the same arrows, same scales used obviously since, I mean, that doesn't change depending on level um, on top of that 980k xp takes 14 hours and 980k takes 10 hours with the blowpipe so another four hour difference there but minus one to each of them so it actually is isn't too far off from what we had before but in total you do actually end up saving about 60k different than you would at 70 range which was a little shocking to me so all right so basically what i was able to find overall is there seems to be a smaller difference between the two than you would think and i know that maybe it would seem to most higher level people that making 6 to 700k an hour to make up for the cost of a blowpipe is pretty easy but for lower levels and people that like to relax when they play the game and not necessarily make money but just skill and stuff this actually could be very very viable for them so it will help some people also on top of that there are instances where the magic short bow is just as good as a blowpipe and it wouldn't seem so by the xp rates but one instance i ran into earlier today was killing baby blue dragons so only two spawn around you and one may roam to you but in the time that it takes for me to kill both of them with the blowpipe there's going to be another 15 seconds on the respawn time which would be the same as me just killing them with the magic short bow imbued because I'm going to kill them both before that respawn time anyway, so I may as well just do it with something that costs me a lot less money. So those are things that you guys kind of got to keep into account. I'd say for your average high level account that has access to Zolra and whatnot, it's definitely more worth it to use a blowpipe, but to lower levels that may not necessarily know what they're doing with money and may just be looking to try and save as much as they can, Magic Shortbow Imbued is definitely a viable option and it was a lot more surprising to me than I initially thought it would be. I thought it was just going to be something that I'd check up on and check the stats and just be like this isn't worth it for a video but after a while i was like eh, it actually has it actually has some viability in the game so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like um tell me about it down below what you think i could improve upon this is going to be kind of like the prelude to what will be a series of mine in the future and that will be skilling with stats so there was a smaller youtuber that had around 400 subs that was doing a series called maxing with math and it was a series in which he checked out a few ways to go about getting 99s and skills and kind of calculating to see which one would be the most viable depending on how much money you can make that's kind of what i did here but I plan on doing it with skills as well in the future. So I'm definitely going to give them shout outs once those videos start going up. But it's going to be very similar to the videos we have going on now. So if you guys enjoyed the videos, feel free to let me know. If there are improvements that you guys would like me to make, let me know so that I can improve before that series gets its start. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you guys did like the video, as I said already, feel free to hit the like button. Obviously, anything you want to tell me, comment about it down below. If you want to be subscribed going into the future series and just to see all this stuff that I do, feel free to hit that sub button. And with that being